The elementary particles in the standard model, quarks and leptons, make up ordinary matter. The most recognized type of lepton is the electron, which is known for having the lightest mass. Today I will be expounding upon leptons and explaining the six different types. Before we dive into the various flavors, it is vital to know what a lepton is exactly. As you know, the essential building blocks of matter, quarks and leptons, are recognized as elementary particles. Considering that objects in our universe are made up of leptons, it is important to realize that leptons respond to only electromagnetic, weak, and gravitational forces and have a half spin which classifies them as fermions, subatomic particles that have half integer spin. Now let's dive into flavors. When referring to flavors, I am talking about the six different types of leptons. There are two classes of leptons that we should be familiar with first. Charged leptons and neutral leptons, also referred to as neutrinos. There are three charged leptons, the electron, the muon, and the tau. And the three neutral leptons are the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. Let's begin with charged leptons. Electrons can collide with other particles and pass through a narrow aperture being diffracted as light. Because the electron has properties of both the particle and the wave, the theory of quantum mechanics comes into play. Very similar to the electron, with an electric charge of negative one, and a spin of a half is the muon. The muon is classified as an unstable subatomic particle. In relation to matter, the muon rarely ever interacts with it, only by ionization. When cosmic rays collide with the particles in Earth's atmosphere, 10,000 muons reach the Earth's surface every 60 seconds, thus showing that the muon's velocity has a longer half-life, the time that it takes for the radioactivity of a specified isotope to decrease by a half. The typical muon from space penetrates far into the Earth at a relatively short distance, 456 meters. The muon is even detectable underwater and underground at 700 meters too. However, we must take into consideration that the muon has more energy, but when there is an interference with electrical fields, it may lose its energy, thus causing decay into an electron, other neutrinos, or even the decay into a positron. Because the muon has a larger mass compared to the electron, 207 times greater, it is able to penetrate ordinary matter similar to neutrinos, creating ionizing radiation. On the contrary, the tau is even more heavier, having a mass that is 3,490 times greater in comparison to the electron. The tau is also the only lepton that can decay into a quark. The other leptons are incapable of achieving this due to their infinitesimal mass. Now let me explain neutrinos, the particles which are very light and electrically neutral. Before atoms even formed, the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino were created. They are still being produced, but mostly in nuclear reactions and in a star's core. Neutrinos form when the core of a star rapidly collapses, thus creating what we call today a type 2 supernova. Mass plays a definitive role for this explosion to happen. There will be another video in the future further explaining neutrinos, but for now, stay tuned with the physics paragons. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown explaining leptons.